Welcome to the series of Azure ML Toolbox video tutorials. Today I am going to talk about Add Columns control in Azure ML. This control is used to add a set of columns from one data set to another. Basically, it will concatenate columns of two data sets to create a single data set. Before jumping to the Add Columns control, let's get two data sets on the canvas. For the demonstration purpose, I will be using save datasets present in Azure ML. I have selected breast cancer info and breast cancer features dataset. Next to use add columns control, go to data transformation tab and then expand manipulation tab and select add columns control and drag it on the canvas. Let's visualize both the data sets. This data set has 102,294 rows and 12 columns. Breast Cancer Features dataset has 102,294 rows and 118 columns. Keep in mind, columns in each dataset must have an equivalent number of rows. If a number of rows are not equivalent among the two datasets, then use Join Data Control which supports outer joins on the common key column. We have equivalent number of rows in both dataset. As you can see, there are two input ports and one output port present in add columns control. There is a red mark which says input port left dataset is unconnected. So we will go ahead and connect the left dataset. Now it says input port right dataset is unconnected. So we will connect the right data set. The data sets are connected and now we will run the experiment. The experiment has finished running and we can see the output results. Right click on the output port of add columns control and select visualize. If you remember, there were 118 columns in one data set and 12 columns in another data set and resulting dataset has 130 columns. Therefore, the number of columns in the new dataset equals the sum of the columns of both input datasets. Thus, we have concatenated two datasets. However, you cannot choose individual columns from input datasets to add in concatenated dataset. All the columns from each dataset are concatenated when you use add columns control. Therefore, if you want to add only a subset of the columns, use select columns in dataset control to create a dataset with the columns you want. You can also save the new dataset generated from combining the two input datasets. To do so, right click on the output port of add columns control and select save as dataset. A new window will appear where you can type the name of the new dataset and save it. This dataset will appear under My Datasets tab when you expand Save Datasets tab. Here is the dataset. If you want to concatenate columns of more than two datasets, then you can use more than one instances of Add Columns control. I will drag one more dataset on canvas. Here I have breast cancer data. Now I will drag one more instance of add columns control. Now I will connect the output of first add column control to the input of second add columns control and the right input for second add columns control 
will be from breast cancer data. Let's run the experiment. The experiment has finished running and let's visualize the results. As you can see, the total number of columns in output dataset is 140, which is the sum of the number of columns in three different datasets. Hence, we have successfully concatenated these three datasets. So, this is how add columns control works.